What up, y'all? Here with another video showing you some settings for PSO2 on the Steam Deck. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Now, as I stated in my previous video, GE Proton has an update. You know, they update their builds. So, make sure you're on the latest GE Proton build, which is... Oh, if you excuse me, go to properties, compatibility, and it should be GE Proton 7 46. That is the latest one as of what? What is it? What's today? The 23rd of January. Okay. So just make sure if you're watching this, <clears throat> excuse me, in the future to update your GE Proton with Proton Up dash QT on the Discover Store. Okay, now let's get into it. I'm gonna wanna load up the game. Yes, sir. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the resolution. Oh, we're gonna talk about the resolution of this damn game. Oh, there we go. Now I have this set to let's can we can we okay I have it set to full screen mode. Make sure it's on full screen mode because I noticed on window mode the game runs slightly worse and it's blurrier. So make sure you have it on full screen mode and set it to 720. It should be at 800. Uh, normally but you can just turn that off now let's get into the game and i can show you my end game settings i know before in my previous video i stated that i had it set on fsr quality mode and i noticed after a while of using those settings my game will crash like every 15 minutes and I didn't know what was going on until I changed. I realized it has something to do with the the graphics. Oh, let me uh, get it's a little blurry. But yeah, just change it. Well, I'm gonna show you, but I changed it to balance because well, this is a little too loud. Change it to balance and everything. I have not had any crashes since that time I had it on quality mode. So just keep that in mind. If you're suffering from any crashes, just make sure your graphics options are are on balanced in FSR mode. As we load in. And I just want to say that I have the game installed on an SD. I have the 64 gigabyte version of the steam deck so it's very possible to play this on us on an sd card and i don't think it's really that different either from the all right let me just okay 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 great all right let's move up get away from these people Let's go to the settings. It's hard to do this with one hand. Oh, it's kind of blurry too. It's not good. I think this is the settings. No. Hold on. The settings right here. Alright. Oh. I need to... Dude, there we go. All right, settings. Zoom in. All right, for my okay, it's capture format. Don't care. Don't care. HDR doesn't work on the Steam Deck. Um, do 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 do. Ooh, do do. Wait, is 
It does work? Wait, hold on. HDR works on this? Ah, I doubt it. It's because I have the GE Pro. This uh, this version of GD, GE Proton has uh, HDR enabled. But, okay. First, we got Object Light. That's on. Terrain Light. That's on. Camera Lighting. Set to 50. Screen Edge Darkening. That's on. All right. Global Illumination. That is on. That has to be the most taxing option. So if you want just good frames, setting that off will make this game run just, I think, perfect. But I like the global illumination. It makes the game look good. The lighting is pretty good in this game. All right, Bloom. That is that is that is a personal opinion. If you want Bloom, you can have it. Me, I just you know I like it, but it could be too much during PES burst. So I just set it to eighty-five, I believe. Light rays. We take turn that off. Biometric fog off. Effect distortion rendering on. I, I guess that's like the effects when you're doing your uh, PE burst and stuff like that. Fur rendering, we got that on because fashion is king. We need all that. Blur, we set that to zero. We don't want no blur. Color tone curve, yes. You want that. That's like, um, that's good. You, you want that. Uh, death of field. Off. Specular, uh, specular anti-aliasing. On. Tessellation. Off. Screen space reflections on. Ambient inclusion on. Ambient inclusion on characters on. Screen space shadow on. Shader quality set to three. Cloud quality set to two. Particle quality set to two other players uh, uh, effects oh, opacity 100% character motion correction on Hide other players' accessories. Do not hide. Simple. What the fuck that says? Simple model display. I don't know what the f modeling one. Okay. Okay, that's that. That means um. Like. The shadow, the silhouettes of people that haven't loaded in. Okay, yeah. I was confused on that real quick. I'm like, what is that saying? Max detailed model display. We got that at 14. That's the most people we can see at one time. Number of models displayed during exploration zones. That's eight. That's the max you can really do. Well, for um, combat zones. Anti-aliasing is set to FXAA. I noticed that uh, T T A A makes the game a little blurrier. Uh, okay, so now we're at the FSR setting. I just have this set to balanced. Automatic resolution adjustment is off. 
VSync is off. Minimum frame rate 40 FPS or 60 FPS. You want to make sure that is set to 60. Don't if this is set to unrestricted. I noticed that when you leave it to unrestricted, you know, the game might crash. That might be the reason why the game was crashing for me, honestly. The unrestricted uh, frame rate, inactive frame rate. What is that reaction? Oh, uh, restriction on. That's if you're uh, if you AFK. Texture filtering is set to 16. Texture resolution is set to middle. Terrain draw distance is set to two. And that is it. That is all the settings. That is my settings. for PSO2. Thanks for watching guys. I hope it wasn't that long and I hope it was informative for those. And let me just go like let me uh explain a little bit more about these settings. So like I'm going for slight quality and performance. So it's a little balance I would say. Like like the FSR option. But just a little tweak to my preference. Um, yeah, the the I will say the the you lock it to forty frames like I have it here, and yeah, the the worst part of like the the most intensive part is probably the P uh P P S E burst so. I noticed that it can go as low as 37. It used to be lower on the older G protons. I guess they fixed something and it runs better now, slightly better. They need to add AMD FSR 2.0 in this game already. It's been a year since they released that. So I don't understand why they haven't put it in the game yet. It's literally copy and paste code, but Hey, who knows? Um, yeah, if we had that, it would make the game run even better. And we could probably get even... Uh, make the game even look better, too. With better performance. And yeah, that was that's probably it. Um, P PSC bursts might... Some PS bursts, de depending on where they are, or if there are a lot of enemies spawning in around you, you might see like a dip in frames. But other than that, everything runs fine. Battle D runs fine. Triggers runs fine. Urgent Quest runs fine. You're going to get a solid 40 and all that. And I don't know if this helps too. I also have... Um, where is it? I also have... Allow tearing. I have allowed tearing on. So I don't know if that actually works, but I noticed a slight better latency in my input. So yeah, if you want more input, more latency uh better latency in your input, you can turn that on and allow screen tearing so you can get some you gotta make sure V Sync is off though. Can't do it with V Sync is on. All right, I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. And I appreciate all the people that commented on my last video and gave me suggestions. And yeah, thanks for liking the video and watching it, man. All right, peace.